Hi guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. Bye! This is an interesting filming point. <laughs> Why? Because it's never goodbye, it's never, it's always- I know. Look who's home, or Doug's home for lunch, look where Doug's sitting. Oh, so it's bright and early, 7.30 or 7.45. Doug's getting his lunch, and he's going to work. And I have a prenatal appointment this week, which is annoying because you have to go every single week during your last few weeks. Yeah. And my doctor is far away, so just gathering up my breakfast. Doug's putting his lunch. I don't even know why you need that pail. Because I, we have a little like cooler pack thing, and I put it in there, and it keeps it cold. Oh. And then I heat it up. We did not put away all the cookies last night. No. Nope. Do you want to bring some? No, I'm fine. All right. Do you want a do you want, do you want a hard boiled egg? No, I don't need a hard boiled egg. All right. I'm seriously not used to getting ready this early. My eyes are so puffy, and my blush is really strong. But whatever. Um. See, so yeah, I'm just making my coffee, and I should bring water because that's how you can see the baby better. Although I don't think it really matters in your third trimester because the baby's so big. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe I'm mistaken on that, but. You're supposed to drink a ton of water before you get ultrasounds. And what's really annoying is you drink a bunch of water and then you have to pee so bad and it's really hard to not go to the bathroom in your third trimester. Not like you're gonna pee yourself or anything, but just the fact that it's it hurts you kind of. Like, I don't know, it just makes you feel uncomfortable. Here's my breakfast and I have 15 minutes to put my nursery tour live. So I better do that before I leave. So I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment and I think I've mentioned before, but my doctor is so far, it's like, I think it's like 50 minutes away, not 15, 5-0, so it takes an hour, and I always get questions about this because I obviously upload a lot of pregnancy videos, but basically my doctor's so far because I'm on my mom's insurance still because I'm not 26 yet, and it was cheaper for me to have a baby on her insurance than be on Doug's um, insurance at his work. So yeah, because we just got married, so I was like, and eh, whatever, it's just a few months different, so I'll just stay on my mom's. So yeah, that's why I have to drive so far, and my hospital's um, 50 minutes away too, so hopefully I don't go into labor. I don't think so. My sister had an 18 hour labor with her first baby, and we're very similar, so I feel like that's gonna be me as well. So I just got back from the doctor and I made myself a panini, I swear. If you guys don't have a panini maker, you should get one, because they are so good. And this is what it looks like. So bomb, so I'm gonna eat this and uh, probably answer my emails because they've been piling up. So Doug's home, and well, we're in a car, but. Um, so I didn't vlog, I don't think, since I had lunch. But basically, today, my doctor told me that I could have the baby any day now, and she thinks I'm gonna have it before my due date. Who knows, I still think I'll be induced. So I wanted to have my last meal out. Last meal. So we're going to islands. Of all places. Which if you guys don't have islands near you, or if you're in another country, it's like a burger place where they have tacos and stuff. It's really It's a like a sit-down restaurant. Doug and I never go to sit-down restaurants. No. Ever. We better like, eat we are home. not. We are not. Okay, we would not rather eat at home. What? We always go out. No, I'm just saying I'd rather go out and get the food and then eat it at home. Oh, yeah. Because we're homebodies like that. Yeah. But, no, not that. Like, well, yeah, we go to restaurants that you just, like, grab and go. Not necessarily fast food places, but we just don't like being around people. Like, <laughs> we don't like waiting in a line. No. We don't like waiting for our food. We just don't like being around large crowds. Yeah, and we're just in like the worst place for that. Yeah, the traffic is so bad right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go there, and I'm probably gonna get, what's that burger I get? The Hawaiian. It has a giant pineapple. pineapple on it, and it has barbecue sauce. I don't which... know which one to get today. There's the one with avocado. Or the one with Swiss and mushrooms. Swiss and mushrooms sound good. So Doug and I were just talking about like the nursery tour video that I put up live today. And um, so many of you guys already knew her name. And I think I showed it like on a, I think I showed like the first, I think I showed Anna or something yeah. um, when I was showing like a print a while ago in a vlog. But that's not even how they know it. Like some of them have been watching so long as to like one of the vlogs we were talking about baby names before I think I was even pregnant. Do you remember that? You don't remember well we were laying in like our old bed and we were talking about names mm -hmm. and one of them was annabelle and i was like i am obsessed oh, and man. they all knew it was annabelle because of that vlog that's pretty crazy there's other names i like that doug does not like i, I hope that 
one of these names are your name. But Probably I because I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say I don't like them. Yeah, but whatever. They don't like Doug. They're not gonna like the name Doug, so it's not. A, you know, he don't care. Nope. Um, but the name I like is Serena. Don't like it. But Doug doesn't like it because it just reminds me the of the tennis, tennis player. player. It reminds me of the girl and Gossip Girl, which they are polar opposites. But I love the name Serena. Uh -huh. I like the name Theodore, but Doug doesn't like. He'd go by the Teddy. nickname Teddy, but I like that. And I like the nickname Theo. We were going in between Annabelle and the name Scarlet. Mm -hmm. I loved the name Scarlet, but, and Doug loved the name Scarlet, but I'm just way too close to my mom. And she said, quote unquote, it's a harsh name. Yeah. Sorry, my camera's shaky. And I was like, no, it's not. It reminds me of Call, Call of the Wild. What am I saying? What is that movie? Gone with the Wind. Gone with the wind. Um, because Doug and I watched that this year and we liked, well that girl was annoying in the movie. She was. But she was really beautiful and I just loved the name Scarlet. So we were thinking like Scarlet Rose, but then it's like red red. Yeah. So we didn't do that. But I still like the name Scarlet. Yeah. So if I name my next baby Scarlet, you guys all know, we've been thinking about it a while. Okay. okay what's his card doing? Um, and we already have the boy's name, so we're not going to say that. Like we already know our next like if we have a boy, we already know the name. Yeah. We've known it for like two years. <laughs> I really liked the name Elizabeth because mm -hmm. I thought that was really pretty. I liked the name Caroline. Doug Sweet didn't like it. Caroline. Ba, Obviously. Ba, ba. Okay. I like more regal names. Regal. I don't know what another word to use besides regal. Yeah. Like old fashioned kind of. I really like the name Bethany, but my mom just is reminded by um Bethany Frankel from The Real Housewives and she doesn't like her character. <laughs> I love the name Beth. Like, I think that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, I like the name Mary-Kate. Do you like that name? And Ashley? No, Doug. See, that's that's the, that's like that, that game that you play where it's like, you know, say the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> yeah. And that's the first thing that comes to mind. Holy crap. This is way more food than I remember. Doug got the Swiss mushroom. And we split the fries and they gave you, they gave us so many onion rings. And this is what my burger looks like. It's the Hawaiian. Is there anything else? I so we're walking into Nordstrom <laughs> Rack. I know. I'm so full, but I only ate half my burger. For those of you guys who are wondering. Yeah. So she's not that much of a fatty. But I ate a lot of onion rings. <laughs> the onion rings were bomb today. They were like the best they've ever been. Uh, yeah, so and good. we still got cookies at home. What's up? Make this a food vlog. <laughs> every vlog's a food vlog. <laughs> what I eat in a day, every day. Make sure day. I don't get run over. What if we call you our YouTube channel what I eat in a day? <laughs> what we eat every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does somebody have that? If not, I'm buying that domain. Now, so what I eat in a day like, com? What I eat in a day com. Suck it, Doug. I don't need that domain name, Doug. I'm squatting on that URL. Every time Doug like, thinks of a good domain name, he's like, I want to buy that yeah. URL. And I'm like... like when Drew and I had that idea about baby aviators, which is baby aviator. It's a little sweatsuit. I feel like all baby clothing are sweatsuits. No, feel it. It's like a velour track. Yeah, I guess so. So Doug and I had to leave Nordstrom Rack. Apparently, Doug, well, I was looking for presents for my friend, so we split up. And I was looking in the women's section and I was like, Doug, go look for some Onisuka Tigers, which are his favorite shoes. So he's looking for shoes and then I'm like looking through the sweaters and he comes up to me and he's like, yeah, I had to leave that area. Yeah. I was like, why? And he was like. Some dude comes up to me and is like, why are you staring at us? And I didn't think he was talking to me. And so, so I just kept looking at shoes and he's like, why are you staring at us? And I was, and I was like, staring at who? <laughs> and then he said, yeah, he, he said something like, like, like you're not very good at this or something like that. Anyways, I so I asked like, him, uh, I was like, were you staring at those people? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, was no, like, no, I was looking for I my was size. I looking for my shoes. And what I was doing was I was intensely scanning this row then down. Yeah, no, I know how down, that is. And this row then down. And, and then we walk outside but then, and. Hold on. But then what I did was I rounded the corner and looked up at the size to see if 11 yeah, and a half was on the other side. Yeah, because you're looking for your shoes. Yeah, but he must have thought that I was looking at him when I was looking around the corner to look Paranoid at my size. Paranoid much? Yeah. So after Doug tells me this story, I'm like, eh, let's just leave. <laughs> yeah, and then we go outside. Because the guys were a little sketch. Yeah, and then we go outside, and lo and behold, two people I saw them with were outside handcuffed on the corner. Because they're stealing. Because they were stealing stuff. So the guy probably thought that you were, like, thinking he was stealing and was trying to, like, catch him stealing. Yeah. 
But you're really just looking but for really, I was just bike. looking for my damn shoes. <laughs> so so you might forget that. I'm going to go buy my shoes online. <laughs> On so Amazon. I to, so I don't have to interact this with This is people. why we hate going out. Just kidding. Just, no. oh this God. is not why. Doug and I were talking in islands about how we don't want to be those parents that refer to their kids age in terms of months. Yeah. Like, what did you say? I'm not going to be like, oh, how old's your daughter? I'm like, oh, you know, she's 27 months. <laughs> 40, 44 months. Yeah, like why? But then again, I told Doug that I refer to obviously, like I've gotten so used to referring to my pregnancy in terms of weeks. Like some lady asked me how far along I was or how many months I was and I told her 38, like 38. weeks. Yeah. And she was like, and I was like, oh, nine months. So maybe that's just what happened. It could be. I mean, today, you were talking if you ended up getting induced you'd be 40 weeks and seven days and i was like you mean 41 weeks <laughs> i was just explaining to doug what a blow dry bar is like the store dry bar Aww. so in my head dry bar is like he doesn't know anything like, oh, about there's these something places. fancy like you go and get your hair done and then they blow dry it but apparently they just blow dry it. <laughs> they do so what the hell's the point <laughs> of you going to a bar that just blow dries your hair. Why don't you just blow, blow dry, dry it yourself? Yeah. Well, they can put cool waves in it and stuff. They make Why it look big. Why don't you put cool waves in it? Some people don't know how. Just take the time, just YouTube that shit. I know. I've never actually been to a blow dry bar. Maybe they're amazing. I was invited once and then I was like, hey, I'm not driving over there. Oh, do you have room to driving. go? Yeah, I have plenty of room. I'm not that big. <laughs> yeah, right. So we're looking for Doug's parents and we're trying to pick one of these like gift set things. And this is like the hardest choice of our lives. So we got last year we got them crackers. No, we got the them wedding, like Harry and the Harry and David. Them. Like look at this. This is so cute. That's you get like pasta and you get like a special little pasta. Yeah. Or this one. Now we're in World Market. Am I touching behind you? Uh, you better back away. <laughs> Doug and I literally walked around World Market and Home Goods for like two hours. But that's good because I'm supposed to walk two hours a day. Huh, Doug? Said it again. <laughs> Said it again. <laughs> Anyways, Doug's gonna read the comment of the day. I am? Oh, yeah. This is from Famous Nat. Good to see you guys. I'm 21 weeks, and both me and my boyfriend have subies, and they are the best. We have a 2013 WRX, very nice. We also have the 2016 Forester XD Turbo in pearl white, and we love both cars. A Forester sounds pretty good too. And I have been watching you forever and can relate as this is also our first baby and we're also having a girl. And now he watches Doug's channel, lol. We love watching you guys. Take Whenever care. Doug posts, once a year. <laughs> yeah, I do need to post more. I know. So you, they have a WRX and a Forester? Yeah. My question is, where do you guys live? Yeah. I need to know where like, that is. Like, do you live in California? Because usually we don't see, I mean, we see Subarus in California or SoCal, but we usually just see WRXs. Yeah, because they're, because you don't need four wheel drive out here. You don't no, need all wheel drive. Unless you live in so the snow. So you just get a WRX because they're cool. Yeah, like people out here get Subarus because they like Subarus. Mm -hmm. Not because they're trying to like have an all like, weather car. Like I don't got car. snow to go over or nothing. Yeah. Um, bonus comment of the day from Madison Olivia Doug cruising around in a lowrider van and a bunch of laughing faces that will be me one day <laughs> no yeah. and the slammed not even low who's gonna be van, driving that van? van me you could drive it you're not gonna drive that van to work I'm the mom it'll be an automatic and then that and it'll be bagged so I can raise it yeah so that way so on bags you can like drive and then when you see when you see a speed bump you're like Shh, and then you just get enough just to go over the speed bump and then when you park it it airs out like you a can't turtle, drift like a big turtle. You can't drift a freaking minivan. No, I'm not saying to drift a minivan. It's Why all about would stance. you lower it? You hard park it is what it's called. It's called hard parking. Okay, we're gonna end this discussion. Yeah. What Subaru would you want if you could get one? I don't know. I think WRXs are cool, but then is that the one with the fin on the back? Yeah, the big one. This kind of like square back. Yeah, but those are the older one. ones. Yeah. Um, those are cool. Old legacies are really cool too because they're like square wagons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Doug, too. if you can't tell, he's not really into, like, the new car. Yeah. I know he mentioned Audi the other day, but really, he's an old person at heart. He likes older cars. I like old Japanese cars. Yeah. 
Press like if you like. Why did I say it like that? Press like if you like. <laughs> it's late. Pregnancy braid. No, I would do that. Press not like if you pregnancy braid. Okay. <laughs> and subscribe if you're new to our to our channel to my channel Haley Page. <laughs> Let me just redo that. But anyway, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Press like for like. Doug.